take number 72 because I suck at freaking commentating. <laughs> What's good, YouTubers? It's your boy D, aka Mofaga, aka D23. Back again with some more Shadowgun Legends action. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you are, because I am not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm doing just fine. Just been busy with life and shit like that. But welcome back, guys. Welcome back for some more Shadowgun Legends action. And as you guys can tell by the title and, you know, look on your screens. I am actually playing in a brand new game mode in Shadowgun Legends. That's right. We have just received a brand new update for Shadowgun Legends. Uh, we have received a bunch of different things in that update. Well, not a bunch. Well, we have a couple of things. We'll talk about that in a separate video. But in this video, like I said, I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay in a brand new game game mode in Shadowgun Legends. That's right, like I said, we have received a brand new update in which we have received a brand new freaking game mode which is called Silver Arena. I am very, 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 very interested to know how did they came up with that name? Silver Arena. That that's that's very unique. That's very, very interesting name. Silver Arena. Very creative to be to be honest with you. Like I really wanna know the thought process behind <laughs> the name of the freaking game mode you know i'm not even i'm not being sarcastic over here i actually do want to know what was the thought process behind naming this game mode silver arena oh well but i have to be honest with you guys i'll be 100 percent honest with you i like it that's right i like it i'll tell you the way it is i'll give the credit where it's credits due you know and i'm gonna do it over here i i like this game mode was not expecting that from mfg <laughs> Okay, I take that back. You know, MFG is MFG. You know, they got their thing. They got to do their thing. But, yeah, for the most part, I like this game mode. It's fun. It's it's definitely, you know, full of little rush. You can feel it overwhelmed by the uh, third wave. But it's fun. It's fun, and you can't really knock it. Uh, this gameplay that you guys are watching was actually my first time playing in this arena. And uh, we ended up playing till, or we, we completed till wave two. But then one of my, uh, you know, player... Uh, happened to get disconnected and then uh, it was only me and this another kid who were trying our best but we were getting our asses handed by the freaking you know top-notch tournament army so it was just not fun to you know complete it uh, by two people so you definitely need three people to get this done you definitely need like good strong three-player team to get this freaking game mode completed you know what i mean so definitely give it a shot uh besides that didn't really notice a whole lot of freaking prob problems with this freaking uh, game mode i do have some issues with it some things mfg had to freaking do something like it's like it's like this mfg you know sit in that freaking you know meeting room and they think about you know bringing something epic for us and then then they're like you know what this is way too epic for us this is way too epic for the community we have to do something to annoy the living crap out of them you know what i mean and what they did to annoy the living crap out of me in this freaking game mode is the stupid ass freaking voiceovers I've complained about it so many times already that guys this is not unkilled like what are you guys doing and they have freaking reused the freaking unkilled not unkilled but the uh, dead trigger 2 voiceovers like like why why guys come on you guys oh god there is something called originality what you guys did with freaking unkilled and dead trigger leave it with it do not bring that to a brand new game that you guys are going to introduce to the world because it just looks so hokey the guy who is doing the voiceovers i don't have anything personal against him it's just that his voice is so freaking cringeworthy and every time he freaking says something like oh big ass alien and freaking um big boy it's just like sounds like freaking you know, social justice warrior just coming at your throat, literally trying to kill you with this freaking moronic ass freaking, you know, you know, social justice agendas and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Sounds like freaking politically correct Patty. I'm going to call him politically correct Patty. Jesus freaking Christ. His voice is so cringeworthy. We'll talk about that in my video where I'm actually going to go off on MFG again. Not literally. They haven't done anything wrong this time. But I have something that I want to talk about. You know, they are basically, like, like, <laughs> telling us that, yeah, 
we are going to copy the resources from Unkill and Dead Trigger 2 now. And there's nothing that you can do about it. This is our game. We will do whatever the fuck we want to. So go fuck yourself. This is them telling to the community. Because, like I said, I already talked about it so many times. The core feeling of Shadow Moon is missing itself. And they're trying to bring freaking using or reuse the resources from freaking Unkill and Dead Trigger 2 is just not helping them. You know, like I said, we'll talk more about that. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the game mode and give you guys some tips, so to speak, in a way to help you guys in this in this game mode. Uh, this game mode is very similar to, like, the zombie mode in COD. You know, you team up with a couple of random players online or you can, you know, team up with your friends and you just go on and just annihilate a whole lot of freaking zombie, you know, ass. You know, they come in waves, same process, but I think in this one, in this game mode, I think you only have to deal the aliens till wave 3, if I'm not wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll double check that and we'll let you guys know, but, you know, till wave 3, you can easily survive, but you gotta have a strong team with you to basically survive these three waves because like I said it's it's going to get very 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 overwhelming by wave three uh, all the freaking top-notch freaking torment army going to be there and you have to basically kill almost all of them well not all all of them uh, I think you have to kill the big boss and then you have to kill like small um, you know the uh, the henchmen so to speak as soon as you kill them I think that will end the game mode after wave three so that's that um but yeah i will make sure myself but a couple of the tips that i would like to give you guys is that when you see a big freaking horde of freaking aliens coming at you hard and you're out of ammo do not reload run like a motherfucker <laughs> run away from them and then reload because if those aliens happen to catch up to you in the middle of freaking reloading you're gonna get your ass handed to you because everybody knows in this game when you reload your movement slows down so do not freaking reload when you see a freaking alien horde coming at you run away then reload uh, second thing make sure you revive your partner because if you didn't and you try to be a big boy and you know just went on against the whole freaking alien horde by yourself you're gonna get your ass handed to you and you're gonna get killed and it's gonna start the freaking wave again so try not to do that try not to become a hero Make sure you distract or find a way to basically revive your partner and then freaking defeat them because it's not going to be easy for you to, you know, take on the alien army by yourself. Third thing, uh, the Headhunter Sniper. They are by far the most dangerous and annoying torment aliens that I think that there are in this freaking game mode because they have some strong ass freaking weapons. And if their freaking bullet happened to connect and hit you, it's gonna basically drain more than half of your freaking health and if you happen to be in a close quarter combat or if like aliens are shooting at you it's just it's just gonna take one or two bullet to basically kill you and you're just gonna get killed easily so soon as you see that freaking sniper the headhunter sniper get him out of the way kill him first and then you know continue to kill others and uh you know continue doing your shiz because that mofo got me multiple times uh, while playing uh, in this game mode and that's what I learned so I just want to share that with you guys so as soon as you see him in the third wave get him out of the way first and then continue you know shooting at other uh, uh, aliens as well uh, that's one thing um, again good team is necessary uh, what else what else what else I think that's about it that's what I've learned so far myself if I happen to learn something more uh, oh yes, a couple of the things, I forgot about that. Uh, there are uh, ammo crates on the side. There are a couple of ammo crates on the side that you can you know, go to and get the ammo for your secondary you know, weapon. So be very careful when you use it, how you use it. So that's that, there are some ammo crates. Oh yeah, there are some uh, electrical boxes built up. You guys may have noticed it that I've actually shot a couple of them in this uh, uh, gameplay. Um, if you see a big horde of alien coming at you, you can basically dodge them by shooting at those freaking electrical boxes because that will close the door and basically give you an opportunity to run away from them you know but these are the few things that i wanted to talk about in this video guys just wanted to go over shoot some shit tell you guys how i like this game mode already it's definitely fun you know game definitely have some problems with it but i'm sure that they will be able to you know tackle those things and uh we'll be able to fix all those things that people are you know 
complaining about by the hard launch you know what i mean <clears throat> but uh, with that being said that's basically it in this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you guys know the mother effing drill don't forget to hit a comment subscribe share like and i will see you guys next time peace no fergus yeah oh by the way beta players slash pro players if you guys happen to have some more tips definitely comment underneath of this video so that you know whole world can read it and uh you know basically get better at freaking arena silver arena game mode i'll see you guys next time Peace. Scare me. Say your prayers. Gotta take cover. <laughs>